Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Go So Beautiful. My name's Becky. Today I'm sharing my sewing plans for April and May. Yeah, that's right, I'm making plans. If you're new to my channel, thanks for stopping by and I hope you will enjoy this video. If you're already subscribed, thanks for tuning back in. I know it's been a little bit, but I was on vacation. We went to New Orleans for spring break and had a really good time. The weather was fantastic. And um, then when we came home, we had another short trip to Charlotte, North Carolina to see my son. So um, it's been busy. I haven't gotten a whole lot of sewing done, but um, I did finish my Ponty pants. Um, I'll put a picture of me in them and I wore them with this top. Um, this top is the Augustina boxy top. It's a free pattern from fabricstore.com. And um, it is really boxy, so boxy that I put some tucks in it, darts, fisheye darts, I guess. And it's still kind of boxy. So I had just pulled it out of my summer clothes because I didn't have much to wear with my navy blue pants. And the Ponty pants um, are Butterick B. Let's see, did I show you the Augustina? That's the Augustina boxy top. It is a free pattern, like I said, from fabricstore.com. And then the pants is B. 6865 view a and i made an extra large this time and they fit really well so i was very pleased with that um other than that um i did do a few repairs um on some things but um i really started thinking about what i'm going to sew this month the rest of this month and next month um, so let me tell you about my plans. In my last video, I had mentioned that I wanted to make the Maya Sotis dress. And um, I had planned to make it and then unfortunately ran out of fabric and had to order more. And thankfully, I found a shop on Etsy that had the fabric. So um, I do plan to make the Maya Sotis dress. Where's the pattern? It's a pretty little kind of floaty shirt dress. And I did end up making, finishing the toile and wore that for Easter. So I'll put a picture of me wearing that. That dress, I did not have enough for its sleeves or ruffle, but it came out really nice and um, I really liked wearing it. And I decided on that dress because I had already started making it and I figured I might as well go ahead and finish it. <laughs> so um, the fabric I'm going to use for the Maya Sotis dress is this is a kind of minty green poplin fabric. I think I originally got this from Minerva and um, it is just so nice and kind of silky feeling. So. I'm going to get that finished and um, I can hopefully show it in another couple of weeks. So next on my list is um, I really wanted to make this up yesterday, but I found some fabric in my stash and I thought this will go perfect with my navy blue pants. The only problem is it was a piece that I bought from, from Fabric World. They just sell random pieces um, like remnants. And I thought there would be enough fabric of there, but there wasn't. I seem to have a problem with trying to make things and not having enough fabric for it. But I went and searched on the internet again and I think I found a perfect match. It's just a blue, blue, navy blue with a 
thin white stripe running through it. And I thought this Liesl & Co. Maritime Knit Top would look really cute. It's kind of a little bit of a boat neck, but not too big. And I had seen someone else make it. I want to say it was Megan from Megan G Makes. And I haven't seen her put a video up in a while, but it turned out really cute. And I thought the nautical stripes would just look super good. Here's the fabric. It's a navy blue cotton spandex. And this stuff curls so bad. This stuff curls so bad, I could not even tell where the, the selvage was. So the Myosotis dress and I have to wait until I get the fabric in before I can finish this um, are next on my list. Other things that I'm going to make, and I really do have to make this this week. I have a baby shower to go to and um, I had seen this little, well, I had watched, I had watched um, Tiffany from Who's Your Handmaid. I had seen her video and she made this adorable Easter dress for her daughter, Addie. And she had on the cutest little bonnet. So I started looking for bonnet patterns and I found one on Ellie and Mac, but it was $7.50. And I didn't want to pay that. I thought, surely there is a free pattern somewhere on Pinterest. And, of course, I found one. So, this is from Pearl Soho. There's a picture. And it has a visor and a tie. And I thought that would be so cute for a baby. Um, and then I, I started thinking, well, I can't just give her... A baby bonnet. I mean, I could, but I thought, wouldn't it be cute if I made a matching little romper with it? So I'm going to make this quick sew um, little romper. This is K3776. I'm going to make this one here with the brown, with the white polka dots. And I had bought some fabric, of course, when we were in. Louis, in New Orleans, I had to check out the fabric scene and I, uh, we went there and it's a tiny little shop called Chateau So-and-So. Isn't that cute? And they had lots of quilting fabrics. They did have some apparel fabrics and they teach classes. Um, but I did pick up this pretty print here. And it's got little cats with flowers around their face. And I thought that would make a super cute little baby gift. The only problem is, I don't know if I've bought enough fabric. So I may have to find something to coordinate with it. But um, for a newborn, I don't think it should take that much fabric to make a romper, should it? <laughs> we'll find out. Anyway. That's on my list. And then the next thing, these are mostly probably going to happen more in May, but um, we go to the beach every year at the end of May, first week of June, and I'm going to need another swimsuit. And again, I was, watching, I was watching Tiffany from Who's Your Handmaid, and she talked about making a swimsuit for her trip to Disney. And showed this really cute um, swimsuit pattern from Peekaboo Patterns. This is called the Women's Hanalei Bay Swimsuit. And it has a swim skirt on it. And, of course, there's no picture. I'll see if I can put a picture of what it looks like all made up. But um, I really prefer a swimsuit skirt with a skirt at the bottom because um i just i think it looks better on me but um i'm going to try and make this swimsuit skirt 
And I have some black fabric from my swimsuit making adventures last summer. It's just plain black nylon lycra swimsuit fabric. And this came from the fabric fairy. And um, I thought if I make it in black, then I can make multiple tops to go with it. So for the top, this has a cute tankini top that has a little band and a bow, but I'm not sure I want to make that. I think what I want to make is just a little tank top. I have this pattern that I made last year. B, uh, this is Butterick B5795, and it has a tank top right there. And it's got princess seams. It's got um, pretty, a nice scoop. I think that'll look good with a skirt. And this pattern actually has a, a swimsuit skirt on it, but it's not attached to bottom. So um, for that, I think I'm going to use this fabric, which I also got last year. It's got this black kind of animal print with big pink and red hi hibiscus flowers. So if there's not enough of this hibiscus print, then I do have some other choices, but I'm really hoping to use that because I think it will go best with the black pants. All right, so next on my to-do list is to make some shorts because it is getting warmer today. It's 80 degrees and I'm going to need some shorts for the beach. And I've ordered some fabric, which I will show in another video. I'll have a fabric haul, but I had this kind of um, khaki colored linen left over from another project. So I think that'll make a nice pair of shorts. And I'm thinking I'll use the Allegra shorts from Love Notions um, because those usually fit me fairly well. And if I don't, I may use the Arden pants and make them into shorts. Um, but this is just a linen fabric that I got from fabricstore.com. And then also to go with that, I might like to make a shirt with this linen stripe fabric. I got this at Melanated Fabrics. Let's see, is that the right side? I think it looks the same on both sides. Yeah. So this is kind of a linen stripe. It was a remnant that I got at Melanated Fabrics um, a couple years ago. And I think a nice little camp shirt would look good in this. I don't have a pattern to show you, but um, when I get it made, I will show you that to you. And then finally, I'm going to make some more t-shirts. And I, I know I have enough of this fabric. This is just a, another purple cotton spandex fabric. And I'm going to make the Keep It Simple Babe tee um, because that fits me well. It's got a number of different necklines, so I might try either a square or a v-neck, and that will go with lots of things. And then the last thing I want to make um, are another pair of Arden pants from Helen's Closet, and I don't have any fabric to show you, um, but I do I did order some fabric. I went a little nutty this month. And even though I'm on a um, use my stash diet kind of thing, I did decide to go ahead and buy some fabric this month. But I think I'll pretty much be set for the next at least two or three months. I have plenty of fabric in my stash and shouldn't need to buy any. So those are my plans for the next few weeks. I'm really hoping to stick to them and not get sidetracked and um, have something to show you 
in the next few weeks um, when I get them all made. So that wraps up my plans for April and May. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell so you can see when I upload new videos. I really enjoy hearing about your plans and, and comments and look forward to seeing you in future videos. Thanks for watching. Go so beautiful.